Maybe I'll crash into you Maybe we'll open these wounds Hi guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is a little haul. I'm going to be showing you just a little, a few of the things that I've picked up lately pertaining to beauty products. So I know this background isn't exactly ideal. Um, I just wanted to try seeing what it was like shooting in natural light. I rather like it, so um, I think I may try to do this from now on, but obviously in a better background. So if you want to, there's my beautiful light switch and a door. So it's awesome like that. But anyway, let's just get right into it. So a few of the products that I picked up lately are... Um, starting off with, I got this dry shampoo. Now, everyone's obsessed with dry shampoo. I personally, I know this is bad for you. I wash my hair every day because if I don't, I don't know, my scalp just feels itchy. Like, it starts to feel itchy. I can feel like the oil starting to form and it just bugs me to death. So I have to wash my hair every day. But on the off chance that I was just really tired and I just couldn't do it that day, um, I thought, well, maybe I can try a dry shampoo. So I tried this got to be Fat-tastic. Fat-tastic, that's what it's called. Um, dry shampoo. And I don't notice that this gives me big plump hair as it says. Um, I think it smells really nice. I can see that it does its job in making your hair look like it was just freshly shampooed. But as for the body part of it, I don't really see that. And plus the smell is a little bit heavy for me. It's very heavily baby powder-ish and I just, it goes away after you sprayed it on. But for the most part, um, I mean I think it's good for what it says it does for the dry shampoo part but not the body. So I'm not really sure. I'm thinking of trying the Batiste because everyone of course is obsessed with that. So the next product that I have, um, I have been going out and trying to get the Love and Beauty products from Forever 21 and this is one that I found. This is just a um, eyeshadow. I haven't tried it yet but I do love their packaging and this one is dark gray and gold. <laughs> dark gray and gold and it looks like a really pretty color. Um, the other products that I've tried from Forever 21 have been amazing and pigmented and so I can't wait to try this. Okay, so the next product that I got from Forever 21 as well was, I should really like separate these, um, this eyeshadow stick. And this is in the color Cocoa. And as you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't been able to try this yet. I really should have tried them before I show them to you. But um, I will let you know how they are. If you would like to know, let me know. Um, this is an eyebrow pencil in light brown. These two I have not yet tried and um, basically because I haven't tried this one yet because of one of the other products that I'm going to be showing you for the eyebrows that I'm obsessed with and that's what I've been using lately so I will let you know what that is in just a second. So the next thing that I want to show you okay you might think this is a waste um, <laughs> I don't know how I exactly feel about it but okay so I got these these. These I can tell, I don't, I mean I personally don't even remember when they had these. These are by Maybelline. These are glossy lipstick and liner in ones. And you used to see the big word glossy on them. And these I got at the Dollar Tree, okay. Now, I don't mind these. I tried, let's see, one of them's open. I tried the Mocha Luster. And it is pretty. I don't mind it. It's pretty and it's smooth and I like the coverage and everything. They're just kind of an older product, obviously, because they're Maybelline Lip Express, which I don't even remember when they had that. But um, the reason I got all six colors is because I had six Maybelline coupons. Um, actually, I had three Maybelline coupons for $2 off two items that were Maybelline lip products. So I got all of these for free. So, yeah, of course I was going to get them. So anyway, they're not really a favorite. I just thought I'd show those to you. Okay, so here is something that I I went into one of those dollar, family dollar, dollar John, the ones where it's not, everything's not a dollar. But I never go in there for some reason. We had to pick up something. And I saw this lipstick by LA Colors. And I don't even usually give them a second look. But this one was called Frozen Berry. And for some reason, I just thought it looked so pretty. And for one dollar, I thought I'd try it. Okay, I think this color 
it's sort of a sheer. It is so beautiful on. It's called Frozen Berry, and I absolutely love this. I've worn it like three days in a row just because I just think it's so great. And it's got um, vitamin E and aloe vera in it, so it's very, very smooth, and it smells... I can't even begin to tell you how much this smells like a MAC lipstick. You know that little hint of sweet? It has that, and I couldn't believe it. So then I said, well, why don't I just go pick up another one? So I went and tried this other color called Satin, which is like a satiny nude color. It smells a little bit different. Um, I wasn't as happy with this one. It did kind of seem like a dollar lipstick, but this one in Frozen Berries, I don't know what's up with this one, but it's amazing. Okay, Ooh, there we go. So, okay, so two more products that I got um, were from a store called Five Below, and I usually don't go in there either, that much. I don't know why. It's just once in a while. But then every time I go in there, I find something awesome. So I found these little lip glosses called Funky Lips. And this, I don't know, do they have, oh yeah, Cosmic Pink and Purple Boom. I think you can tell which one is which. And these were clearanced for 50 cents. And I don't know, I just saw them and I thought, that pigment looks amazing. I wonder if it would actually apply like that. Well, it, it does. It is amazing. If you want to have like purple and hot pink going on, these are awesome. And I'm kind of sad that they were discontinued. I'm thinking they were discontinued because they were 50 cents. But I will be sad if that is the case because these are amazing and I really want to go back and get more. So I highly recommend these. And they um, don't feel that sticky because sometimes these, you know, these tubed lipsticks do, lip glosses. Um, and the smell is really nice. The taste is fine. So yeah. Okay, next is something I got in my Ipsy bag, my very last Ipsy, Ipsy bag because I did cancel it. I, I don't know, I just wasn't happy the last few months with the things that I got um, for the $10. I don't know, I just felt like I could go out and get things myself. So I canceled it. But of course I did like the things in the last one, figures. This is one of the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lipsticks and this is in Get Ready. Um, I'm not huge on the color that they sent me. For me, I think it'd be a beautiful color on someone else. It's like a pink, pink satiny pink color. Um, but it is a cute little package, and they give you a nice size for the sample. So I might actually go try some of the other Moxie look colors that they have, because I went on Bare Minerals, and they actually have some colors that I would be interested in trying. So I got one other product that I wanted to show you from the Ipsy bag. Um, and this was a Be A Bombshell Quad Palette in Bora Bora. And yeah, these are very pigmented colors. I'm not really going to swatch them because I don't know. I don't want to get that all over me right now. But um, yes, I really like these. You can see that they are very, very bright and pigmented. They come out just like you see there. And I was kind of happy with this. but. Ipsy is still no longer coming to my home. Anyway, um, oh, I had one other thing to show you from Forever 21. This was the High Shine Gloss, and this one is in Berry. And as you can see, I haven't tried that one either. Oops. Okay, so on to the part that I was excited about. We had gone away a little while ago and I had picked up a few MAC products and I wanted to show them to you. So I will get started with the first thing. This is a matte pro longwear paint pot and why did I say pro longwear? Everybody knows what a paint pot is. This one is in stormy pink. I've only used it like once so that's why it's still in the box. Stormy pink. It's really really pretty. It's um very shadowy. It's smoky. It's like a smoky nude. It really doesn't come on super pink at all. And um, I just really like it for a, a shadowy, smoky eye. It's amazing for that. And it's not too much. It's just the right amount to give you that depth right in your crease. So I really, really like this one. And the next thing I got was this blush. I'll open it for you. It's a super pretty color for spring. It's just the prettiest pink. It's called Peony Petal. And um, 
I just love these. I'm just watching this for you. It's so pretty. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't have too, too much of it on. But yes, it's so, so pretty for spring. And I can't wait to wear this all spring long. Okay, so the next product I got, I am obsessed with. I'm wearing it. I've been wearing it every single day, in fact. This is the Fluid Line Brow Gel Gel Cream. And I looked online, and I didn't see this online anymore, which is interesting. Um, but this one is in Dirty Blonde, and as you can see, I have made good use of it so far. I am loving this for the brows, and that's what I have on today. Tell me if you guys like it, because I really, really, really do. And I don't know. I've just been obsessed with this product, and so happy with it. I seriously hope that this is not discontinued. What I did see online was a brow wand something in a stick form so yes and the last thing that i got from mac was a sheen supreme lipstick um i've never had one of these long thin ones before but <clears throat> oh my word that was crazy this one is in pleasure fruit and i just think it's a really pretty like tropical color yeah it kind of reminds me it's sort of neon it kind of reminds me of candy yum yum if candy yum yum had more strawberry color in it so that's what it looks like and I think it's super pretty super pigmented obviously Mac always is but yes so those are the things that I picked up lately so I hope you enjoyed and if you'd like to see more videos like this please leave me a comment and like this video and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. I lay down this armor for you.